We all aspire to be the best cyclists we can be, and we're not just talking about how strong and how fit we can be. No, there's more to it, like being a nice all-round individual on the bike too. What, just a nice cyclist? Everybody loves a nice cyclist. Now, despite these super cool uniforms that all of us cyclists tend to wear, it doesn't actually give us any special privileges when out on the road. So we need to make sure we are obeying by the laws and regulations in the areas which we're riding. That might mean doing a little bit of research to make sure you are following safe cycling habits in your area. Yeah, so now's probably a good time to mention that we can't ride on the sidewalks and pavements as it is illegal. And let's be honest, we don't want to upset all those pedestrians. Or any other road users for that matter. But it does make me ask one question. Go on. Does that mean that this footpath out of you? That's out, mate. As tempting as it may be. It looks like fun. I know. Now, as cyclists, we don't have indicators or turn signals, but what we do have is a pair of really long arms, which are perfect for letting other road users, especially motorists, know exactly what our actions are and where we're going to be going. They're also great for pointing out hazards on the road to other cyclists in our group, and letting them know the directions we plan to take. Signals don't just show change of direction though. They also help warn others of hazards like potholes or road furniture. One way to lose friends is not to point out potholes. So my advice to you would be to try and get in the habit of signaling as much as you feel is necessary. Signaling and communicating to others whilst out on a group ride is one of the most effective ways to prevent accidents and preventable issues occurring. Simply shouting out to other riders is the best way to do this, but use hand signals if you need to do so. Now this may be incredibly obvious, but it's so easy to get carried away chasing PBs and KOMs. I'm talking about stopping at traffic lights. This is something you must do. Not only is it illegal, but it's also incredibly dangerous. So be patient, wait for the green light. Something so simple, but it might just save your life. One thing we need to do as cyclists is steer clear of the major roads, the motorways and the highways. For a start, it's just not legal in most places. But then who wants to be passed by the sheer volume of fast traffic? The vans, lorries, cars screaming past you on a big road. Instead, when planning your route, try and find somewhere a little more tranquil and perhaps a little bit more scenic as well. Not only will you enjoy it more, it'll also be much safer. If you are unsure, start out by having a good study of a map, either with a printed map or a digital one. Even Google could prove useful for this. Route planning apps like Komoot can make planning a route much easier and take a bit of the stress out of the unknown of your ride. Check the classifications of byways. Does your chosen route intersect private land? You may still be able to ride there, but you may need to request permission to do so. Now this is my favorite being friendly and polite to other cyclists. It's super easy to do, and it really does make a massive impact. Just a simple nod or a wave does make the world a difference. Hi, mate. Being friendly to other cyclists is really good, and it really makes them feel good about themselves. Depending on which news outlets you follow, motorists and cyclists may be made out not to be best friends. Whether or not this is true doesn't really matter, as there's a lot we can do to help our cause, such as thanking patient motorists when they've waited for us. But this is where we can make a change. If motorists have been patient and give you space when passing, then a gesture of gratitude would go a long way. If there are any characteristics you find annoying from fellow cyclists out on the road, let us know in the comments box below. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and for more tips, click on screen now.